This is Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com, and today I have with me the new Pantech Impact, also known as the P7000. Let's uh, open the box up, see what we got. Right up top here, of course, is the phone. It looks like the battery in the rear cover or somewhere else in the box. You can see it opens up to a full QWERTY keyboard. We'll go more into that a little bit later. Let's just set this to the side and uh, see what else we have in the box. Right up top, it's a uh, Pantec proprietary charging port, charger rather, and we have some documentation here in the bottom. Quick start guide, user guide, um, some promotional materials, and here in the bottom we have the rear cover and of course the battery. Take a look at the battery, see if it has a rating on it. It's 930 milliamp hour battery. I'm going to toss a active SIM card and as well as the battery in the rear cover so we can start the device up. Looks like this just slides in sideways here. There we go, clicks in. power key right here and now it's coming up let's take some of the protective covers off of it one on the inside one on the outside you now see the external keypad showing up it's you know backlit of course touch sensitive keys and a small monochrome display on the outside take a look at the uh, design while it's powering up you can see a rather large hinge right here here's the lens for the two megapixel camera of course, the battery cover, like we just showed. Hold button here, which I imagine locks and unlocks the uh, keypad. We'll have to check that out, along with the volume control. Up top is where you find the proprietary Pantec connector for power and, um, of course, headphones. Uh, no headphones are included in the box, though. On the bottom, micro SD memory card slot, and no card is included. Let's see what that hold button does. I'll press it. Yep, and you can see it locks and unlocks the keypad. Vibration haptic feedback whenever I'm tapping on something. Hit the hold button again, and everything's locked up. Just so you can see, we place a quick call. Hit the call send button. Doesn't seem to be any... Uh, single key method for putting on the speakerphone. Actually, I don't see any indication that there's a speakerphone at all. It's possible the speakerphone works once the phone's opened up, so let's give that a shot here. Here's the main screen. Hold down the function key to dial. And hit the call send button. Right, here you can see the speakerphone is automatically activated. And if we close it, the speakerphone goes off. Now that we have the phone open, let's take a look at the full credit keyboard. It's a nice four row keyboard. Uh, layout's a little bit odd in terms of the centering here, but at least you do have three dedicated rows to letters, so um, the space bar is not messing up the bottom row or anything like that, so relative to each other, all the letters line up nicely. Function key for accessing the numbers, like you saw me, a uh, dial also can be used for symbols. You can see a uh, slight backlighting here, the blue backlighting. You can see, uh, you know, parentheses, colon, that kind of stuff, plus, minus, that kind of thing. Shift key. Uh, this is a shortcut button here. So press this, you can see some quick access shortcuts come up. You can navigate through there with the uh, D-pad. It's also a dedicated button for symbols, uh, messaging, and some other functions as well. The left, deep, left soft key button here brings up another shortcut menu separate from the previous one. It looks like you can customize it. So we'll hit the right soft key here to pull up the main menu on the QVGA resolution display. Very nicely rendered uh, main menu. Uh, very attractive icons. They're all animated. It's really quite good looking. Go into the um, settings screen here. 
again, very nice shading, um, nice almost brushed metal look on some of the graphics here. You can see we can set a couple different clocks. Take that one there. Let's go back to the main menu. See so what we have in terms of mobile email support. This looks like it's probably going to be the same Java client we see on most of the AT&T devices. Appears to be the case. A pretty good support for email in there. Messaging support. I am as well. You can see there's AIM, MSN Messenger, and Yahoo Messenger. And of course, uh, AT&T's store, the mobile web browser should look decent. It's not going to be a full HTML browser, um, but it should do a pretty nice job of um, pulling up sites. You can see the signal strength is pretty good. We've got an active 3G connection right now. Should pull up the AT&T net portal, and we'll jump into the mobile burn website. And there's a nice dedicated dot com button here, so I can just press that and automatically enters dot com. Saves you a little bit of time when entering in URLs. And here comes our mobile website. Comes up nice and quickly. So there you have it. That's our very quick look at the Pantech Impact for at and It's a very attractive looking device with a touch sensitive dial pad on the outside and a full query keyboard on the inside. Very solid feel to it. Um, good looking materials. Nice uh, textured finishes around the uh, bezel here. Really a n nice looking effort overall. It's available to starting today for $99.99 at AT&T. Again, that's the Pantech Impact and I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.